Hello, today we are going to explain freeze drying process. We have two freeze dryer. This one we have only one stage processing, one temperature and one pressure. We have another uh, freeze drying that it has uh, under only one uh, room temperature. And this uh, device uh, where we have the, where we put the sample here and also we have the, um, the cold trap. Uh, for the condenser. So the processing start as first we start with the uh, uh, compressor okay and uh, this uh, the compressor until the temperature go of the cold trap at to minus uh, 40 then we go for the uh, vacuum pump. Uh, once the vacuum pump start also we have vacuum uh, meter in the vacuum meter will wait until uh, the uh, uh, pressure goes to, to zero. So here we'll start reducing. Once it is zero, then we wait only for three days. Uh, once again, this is only under one room temperature. Today I have uh, purchased one kilo of coriander leaves from local supermarket. Here it is. I'm going to sort out the coriander leaves now. And therefore I'm going to arrange it one by one. So now, uh, as a part of uh, sorting out, I will uh, separate the root region of the coriander leaves. That's exactly what I'm doing now. After sorting out the damaged part, now I'm going to uh, chop uh, chop the coriander leaves. And transfer them into the freeze drying tray. So now I'm uh, uh, going to, I mean, the freezing sample which was stored at minus 40 degree for several hours, three to four hours. I will put them into the freeze dry chamber. And then uh, there is a sensor. It has to be put on the sample to maintain the room temperature. I mean to maintain the sample temperature. And then I will close the lid to make sure the temperature inside the room temperature. So after Salah he has put the, the sample. Now what you have to make sure that the uh, the drain it is uh, is closed. And then from here, the, as we have said, it has reached. Uh, minus 40 so we'll start with the vacuum okay and then we just wait until the vacuum uh, meter uh, reach zero and you see after some time the this number will start to change now i would like to explain the freeze drying process for this specific dryer it has three major components freeze drying chamber condenser to transfer water vapor to ice that is refrigeration system and a vacuum pump drying chamber does not have any cooling that's why we freeze the coriander leaf in a freezer at minus 40 degrees c first before placing it in the chamber operation first place the frozen coriander leaf tray in the drying chamber and then close the opening valve so that we could create a vacuum. Then turn the condenser to reach at minus 40 degrees C 
and then turn the vacuum pump on to reach below 10 Pascal. There is no heater in the chamber, therefore initial sublimation process and the second vacuum drying are performed at room temperature 25 degrees C. Heat will be taken from the room. Now I would like to explain the process using a phase diagram. We can locate the initial sample at room condition that is at 100 kilopascal and 25 degrees C. It is 0.1. Sample was then frozen to minus 40 degrees C in a freezer. This is located at 0.2. Then pressure was reduced below 10 pascal which was lower than the critical pressure of 610 pascal as required for the sublimation. This is located at 0.3. Then initial sublimation will start when sample reaches the temperature of the sublimation line. Finally, the sample will reach at room temperature 25 degrees C. This is located at 0.4. After 72 hours of uh, fish dyeing, now I'm going to take away my sample from the fish dyer and make it pow powder. So before taking uh, my uh, sample from the fish dyer tray, so at first I have to uh, open the drain valve so that the, the gas it can be released from here gradually. Then, at first, I have to off the vacuometer. Then vacuum pump, and then compressor. Now I will wait until complete uh, removal of the gas from the freeze dryer machine. Transfer, uh, transferring free dye sample into the blender jar. Now I'm going to make it ready for the powder. And here is the process. So this is the powder after uh, grinding process. So this is uh, the process how we can make uh, the freeze dyed powder from the coriander leaves. Thank you very much. Saleh Rakib is currently working on the freeze drying of coriander leaf. He will then determine the stability of health functional phytochemicals as a function of storage temperature and moisture content. Stability will then explain based on their state diagram. It is his PhD thesis project. A special thanks to Dr. Nasir Al Habsi, Mr. Saleh Rakib, and Mr. Abdullah Muhammad for assisting me in developing this video. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video.